But no, uh, these things might also be... I think Kelpies are probably more so from, like, Irish mythology, because Irish mythology is fucking crazy sometimes. And this looks more like something you'd find from there, where it's a horse and a toad. I don't know. If you're a while excuse to learn about myth more Norse mythology, uh, Kukulain from Fate, Stay Night, is, like, a perfect excuse to go into it, because... Yeah, the boy is good. <laughs> uh, Hand has made a great, uh, uh, analogy for this part of the series. Uh, it's essentially a giant D&D campaign, where every single party member of Guts' band, like, they have their own individual, like, strengths and weaknesses with their weapons and everything. No, Shuriken is the magic caster, Guts is the, is the, the strong arm. Serpico is more dex build, uh, Isidro is the, th is the thief, slash the rogue, you know, and so on. And, you know, Farnese is, like, the helping hand, I guess. But it's like this entire section is a D&D campaign. I love that analogy because it's really true. It also would kind of line up because D&D's been around since like at least the 80s, maybe the 70s, I don't even know. Lord of the Rings, when did Lord of the Rings come out again? I have no idea, but I know that Lord of the Rings was definitely like a big influence on D&D. I don't play it myself. Uh, Taylor plays it on, try, used to play on the regular before, you know, the Rona kicked out. So yeah, oh, Serpent goes on, fuck. Can't pause time, doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, uh, the big fucker has regained his hit points again. Uh, not again, it's the first time, but it's not the last time either. This might hurt. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything you really need to hang on to your cannon for in this fight, really. Oop, fuck. Okay, that was the wrong tech direction. So, what... Basically, what the, the ogre, the trick that's really willing down its health is that you can make its intestines pop out from three parts of his body. The left, right, the left side, the right side, and the front side. The, uh, every time you do it, he takes a good amount, a good grip of health. Or he loses a good grip of HP. Ooh, that's a counter, okay. Oopsie. I'm gonna amaze you can even do that, the guts. The, your bombs will instantly also rupture his organs, usually. At least I've noticed it has a good track record of doing that. For some reason, he's not rupturing his organs right now. In fact, he's barely taking damage. What the what the fuck? Ogre's usual attacks is just to like just go ape shit like this. And before some song about going ape shit or something, I don't know. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Why is he not taking? Da okay, there's a damage. I was getting concerned. I'm like, why the fuck is Ogre not taking damage? Shrek, please. <laughs> and it just hit me. It's, 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 it's kind of fucked up though how actually somewhat factually accurate to uh, the old German tales that ogres are. Oh yeah, ogres are based off of, according to real life Ryan, uh, Germanic slash- no, not Germanic, it was French. Apparently they're based off of French uh, mythology and they're named after some god there. I don't remember what it is offhand, because... Even though I'm part French Canadian, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. Once you rupture all three of the organs on the sides of his body, you want to access them by actually going to different sides of his body. Uh, you'll get a mark, and then you use it, and you do a fuck ton of damage. I don't think we're actually like landed my counter on him before, so let's be that'd be interesting. Theoretically, uh. Directly, Berserk should really put a dent in him, I think. That's that's just a game theory, but you know, working with what I got. Poof. Ah, Jesus, that's nothing. Anyway, bombs. Oh my god, why is the bomb not doing anything? Usually the bombs, like, make all three of them rupture at the same time. I mean, not horrid, but just weird. Anyway, I'm getting my brand up, uh, usually right now, and I'm just trying to use it as, like, a counter to his shit. Let's see. Go for it again? Hell yeah. I mean, it's free damage. It's free real estate. Why not? There we... Jesus, that took forever. And I am frozen. Probably a little time. Yes, please. <laughs> Every time he... Guts locks up, like, locks up like that, I get super scared. And yeah, Serpico is really, really good. Such a really good fighter. Jesus. I don't think he's gonna get, lo get locked in the water prison here, though. And in the meantime, she's been juicing up another one of the spirits. It's the water spirit. 
pretty sure it's Undine. Could be, could be wrong about that though. But anyway. Oh, hey, it's a river. Now we're a river. Fuck. Hmm, there's certainly some bad jokes that Nostalgia Critic has made in the past that we can easily make here, but I'm going to refrain from doing so. Anywho, now things get a little stranger. For some reason, the water is low enough that we can just kind of walk around it, even though it was so raging that you couldn't even walk, stand upright. Because, you know, water water pressure does that when it's a tsunami, but, you know, anyway. So now things get a bit more interesting. First, let me see. Well, you actually work. No, okay, what the fuck. So, yeah, as of right now, no more trolls, so that is good. However, you still gotta contend with Big Ugly here. Luckily, the idea from before though is very much an effect. What I usually like doing is getting a couple pot shots in on him and then going for the mark. Uh the triangle input. Oof. Eh, not not bad. This is one of the reasons why I really say you want to juice up your arm cannon. I know I'm not using an arm cannon really here, but considering your arm cannon is A invincible on Sarda, B like frame one invincible pretty much. B uh, it does immense damage, and see, it's also your Gaia Jill free card sometimes for certain boss attacks. You really want to increase the the recharge timer on it. <coughs> Too bad it's like the third most expensive thing in the game. Oh, there we go. So only two of the. Jeez, he is split the fuck open. <laughs> uh, I mentioned before that I. S come on, controller, thank you. I speculated before that I'm pretty sure the reason this game didn't come to the States is because of how graphic it is. And looking at this kind of really solidifies that notion, but I don't know. It's still kind of up in the air. Why is my counterattack changing? That's so weird. But anyway, yeah, you can usually bowl the or ogre pretty well. When he picks up the the wood, I would be very careful. Straight charge. Oopsie, he's pursuing me. We're doing a pursuit here. The knives do nothing, okay. Uh, if you're ever at a distance, it's not a bad idea to just use a crossbow. Although one thing I, I will say I can't tell here because of the you know the perspective of the moving water. I can't tell if the, if the water pressure is actually moving you. And it bothers me, because I would really like to know. But yeah, if you ever have a good amount of dis well, actually wait. Looking if at guts versus like the front of the church, it looks like it is in fact slowing you down. So, I don't know. It could be a thing. So much blocks done. Okay. I really just did that to exhaust my crossbow so I can recharge it. Ooh, that throw though. Good thing it's very reactable. Ugh. That sucks. Whoop. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Guts still, even though he has a huge cooldown in his, his dodges, he still has a lot of speed, a lot of range he can get on him. Oops. Alright, I got, I'm more than have another one ready. Fire stuff! I'm glad the, I don't think the fire is diminished at all by the fact that there's a river here. That's really good. Was that a, a dive bomb to me? Okay. I can't say I've seen all this guy's attacks before, but I'm just kind of bear, trying to bear in mind. Also, I buffer that into a fucking regular attack. To, if, if what I just said is is very strange for some people, what basically that what it means is while I was doing a, an attack animation, I just pressed X and I X, and I still got the uh, counter attack out. That's great. Oh, God, the pushback is immense though. I can't really get good damage on him. But yeah, uh, my first time through this, I was literally taking 45 minutes to get through all four of these uh, boss fight phases. This is literally like a four-face fight. I'm not kidding. The first fight with the ogre, the second fight with the kelpie, six, third fight, uh, the second fight with the ogre, and now this with, with the river. This takes a while. This definitely takes a, a bit. He ripped him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna maintain that using your berserk mode is still a good idea. And always use your count, your mark when you got it. Booyah! There we go. Okay, run up, please. Thank you. There we go. Booyah! Oh, I guess you have, a hit, you have to hit him broadside with it or something. Broadside is the front, right? No, broadside is like the the side of a ship. I don't know. 
Oh wait, I wonder if the camel do more damage when he's got all his guts out. Whoa, okay. Fell backwards, I guess. That was weird. Let me try to play a little more aggressively. If I can say nothing else, I can definitely tell this game is meant to be played very aggressively with guts, considering the fact that you have like a really strong ass counter. Uh, you can just kind of buffer into any attack. Whoop. There we go. Uh, that and the fun dodging and the fact that there's a, a variety of like attack animations. I can tell that these boss fights in this game were definitely programmed to be more like in your face aggressive. And I can definitely appreciate that, but damn, with no, with no like really strong like community for this game or like anything really, it's hard to like pin down what the hell he's, you're supposed to do. Oh hey, his arm's gone. Oh yeah, he can chop his arms off too. Fun fact. Takes him a little bit to re regenerate. So I should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm also gonna defend the Berserk 2017 anime. I know, heresy, sh surely very her heretical, but no. Um. There's always been the meme about the fucking terrible uh, sound design for Berserk 2016, and I mean, yeah, the clang on the rabbit was fucking hilarious. But a, they they took out for the Blu-ray, and b, uh, they actually did a good job at making the, the sound effects for 2017 not suck. 2017 had its own issues that weren't the sound design, honestly, and it wasn't strictly the animation either. It was more how bad the CG was in general. Which, you know, well, I don't know what you're expecting from the director who made TQ, but hey, what do I know? Anyway, let me go over here and smack, smack his ass again. Yes, it's boss by Zogarum, by the way. Pop. No pop. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I can deal with it. Anyway, my point being, the initial... When you actually watch the fight between Guts and the Ogre in the 2017 anime, Guts' Dragon Slayer has such... Great fucking sound design to it. I'm pretty sure they use like a church bell or something because the way that it just sounds monstrous has always been great. Every time like he swings the sword or makes contact, like the sword sounds like it makes everything explode on contact. It sounds like it's got this cool like metallic echo effect when Guts does anything with the Dragon Slayer. I mean, it was like this for 27. That's an asshole. It was like this for the 2016 anime as well, and I feel like people really slept on that fact because, you know, lol memes, but it's still like, damn. Also, he is horizontal this last this time, that's a interesting detail. Versus the vertical slip from before. There we go. This might kill. Yeah, boy! But no, for my money, the entirety of the Epoch Village was done really well in the anime. Like, top to bottom. Hill of Swords, yeah, that could have been way better. Um, the bit with Slan wasn't too bad. Uh, anything else come bring the mine offhand? Nothing. Nothing I can immediately think of. I still don't like how they crunched down like three different arcs into like the beginning of 2016, but that's irrelevant. Honestly, just a big issue at the end of the day for um the 2017 anime and 2016 by extension is just a studio that was picked by Miura to just fucking do it, because he. Like, I'm pretty sure Muir himself is the one who chose, like, the TQ studio to do it, as well as being mostly in CG. Because from my money, CG looks really good if you do it right in anime, but you have to commit to it. And not, like, try to be a hybrid of the two. What, why'd you- Okay, sorry, uh, they're being watched play, by the way. I use my litmus test as, ta as Taylor, or I use Taylor as my litmus test because she was the one who, who like, was always saying, babe, why is the graphics so, why is the visual so bad? I'm like, I know. She's extremely casual with anime watching, so I use her as, like, my outside perspective. And objective perspective. Anyway, sorry, wanted, wanted to bench about 2017. It does good things, it does bad things. It's still an adaptation of a good arc, so I'm not going to complain too much about that, but, yeah. Could have done better. So, is there actually going with us? It's weird, cause he's got kind of mangled during that. By the way, yes. From the beginning of us getting to Epoch Village to just now, that was all one level. Holy shit. Okay, that was one level. Ugh, boy. These end levels are getting uh, kind of excessive, but whatever. Let's see how much more of a dent I can put into this game before I have to call a night. But yeah, that, that's my little spiel about Berserk 2017. Um, good, but way better things it can do. Anyway, uh, let us 
raise the level. <laughs> I love that translation so damn much. If any of, if the translator for this, what was his name, Wesker92 or something, if he were to ever watch this, and if he were to ever feel mortified the fact that I'm doing this game long term, don't be, you did a great job, first of all, you didn't have to translate this game, that was wonderful of you to do that. But that being said, some of these translations is fucking hilarious, you know, Gatsu, Shilk, Shilk, is this Eris? I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just giving you shit dude. But no, really, um, great job, man. Like, across the board, thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, this will... Actually, wait, do I want to increase that, or do I want to look at someone... Oh, right, an error to increase. Serpico. Serpico is with us. E wait. Magic defense. E well, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't think I've shown Shirakaze off yet, but... No, I didn't, because I couldn't show it off at all. Shirakaze is really good. Um, every time you invest into her, not only does she increase the defensive value you go up by, but it also lasts longer. So theoretically, you can use that as a buffer between uh, each use of her. So theoretically, you can constantly, <coughs> excuse me, even though you can't touch the uh, the rate at which she recharges, theoretically, you can use this to like be under defensive buffs like 80% of the time. I can't go up higher, so 60 seconds is my maximum. Now, I can manage too much because 60 seconds might just carry me the rest of the game. Hell yeah. And also, Shirk is going to generally be with you in most instances for the rest of the game. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let us... Raise level. Save. Save select. All right, let's continue. Cleepoth. My AC is rip range today. Sorry about the AC in the background, guys. I, I don't think you can hear it because I'm taking the audio through post-processing with Audacity. But basically, here in the scalding, scalding as desert as Arizona in the United States, it's a hundred. Let's see, in Fahrenheit, by the way, not not Celsius. It's just here you are keenly aware. It is. What is the temperature outside right now, anyway? 106. Actually, pretty low 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 tier for. Our usual temperatures are like 115 in summer, but still, eh, not great. All right, let's go ahead and party. Stage select, Kleepoth. I should have done a little more research with the Kleepoth before this. I can tell you roughly what's going on, though. So, yeah. So what's happening is that... Oh. Okay. Okay, so, Kleepoth. Um, Kleepoth is a weird thing. So... It's, this is actually something you can get from the wiki for uh, Berserk, the Berserk series. By the way, definitely check out the wiki if you get a chance. It's a little, it's condensed, but it tells you a lot of things that you need to know. So, Kleepoth in Berserk is essentially a reference to the, uh, something in Jewish, uh, mythology. I forget what it is offhand. But it's essentially a word that also relates to, to the Sephiroth. <laughs> hey, you know, you know that name? So, Kleepoth in the World of Berserk is actually a bit of a, a strange thing. This area is is essentially like, it's one of the layers of the Astral World. And you might think, hey, how the fuck did... Well, before I describe that, I should probably explain what the hell's going on. Right, so everyone was abducted. That was the wrong button. Um, what happened was, during the washout uh, that uh, Shirke was doing, essentially some trolls did manage to make off with... Uh, Farnese and uh, Casca, because they were on a log and they got washed downstream. Luckily, they were on a log, so they didn't drown. That's that's a good start. However, uh, trolls abducted them, and as a result, they were brought back to the den, which is where horrifying shit happens. Right. So if you're this far into the Let's Play, if you're this far into something about Berserk. Right. So the trolls have been abducting women and children. The children are served as food. The women are raped by the trolls and are bred alien style to produce more trolls. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I wish I could avoid saying that, but it's absolutely true. I didn't need to like put trigger warnings everywhere here. Holy fucking shit. Neil say I had Taylor cover eyes for this because she is very squeamish about sexual violence and incapacity. I, I do not blame her. As a woman, I feel like I don't have as great appreciation or uh, fear of it as 
they do, I still very much, uh, it still very much bothers me. Like, there's a very, very good reason why Rate Horn is not anywhere on my to-do list. But, I feel like, with her, I need to especially be careful. That's why it's hard to get, her, it was hard to get her into Berserk, because the character writing, yeah, I got green blood on my plate, how about that? The character writing and the philosophy is second to none, but boy, how does this series tackle the dark side of humanity. Um, like the dark shit. So, and, like, it's beautiful in that regard, but god fucking damn does it get dark. Like, your average viewer is not gonna be able to just walk into, uh, the eclipse, needless to say. Everyone who says, oh my god, the eclipse is so cool, is a fucking sociopath. Because it's not supposed to be cool. It's beautifully drawn, definitely, but it's not, it's not a good thing, like, at all. And when it says that, it's a sociopath. Anyway, 